All right, example 3D. Again, any shape can be given if you follow the rules of square root all the y values. So this whole part under here, under the x-axis, is going to disappear, and I'm going to square root all of the y values. Okay, I want to make sure invariant points. You, it's very clear, invariant points must always be plotted on these graphs. So our invariant points of x-intercepts of zeros are here. So I just go along the x-intercepts. Then I go along where y equals 1, and I plot those points. So that's those points there. Okay, so nothing happens here. Let's look at this. This peak's got to be an important point. The square root of 4 is now 2. So what's going to happen here is uh, this is gonna go on this side because between the zero and one, it's still gotta bubble out, curves through here, curves back down through this point and then bubbles on the outside there, okay? So it's not, I, it's okay to have it like kind of my shape here, but don't over exaggerate one, two, three giant bubbles, okay? Square root of two is an important one. So, cause it's a peak there, we're gonna have to do that. That's gonna be our 1.4, so just slightly less than under the one and a half. So this bubbles out, goes through this point, comes through here, and bubbles there. Okay, so again, we got this bubble around here. Okay, so funky looking shape, but you still get a funky looking shape with the root graph too.